Hi there, I'm Dr. Gilnar Maharamova, an endodontist based in Baku, Azerbaijan. I also teach endodontics at Azerbaijan State Advanced Training Institute for Doctors. In this video, I'll walk you through the case where I use vBlue files by Perfect Endo. New generation vBlue files are made of super elastic blue M wire, nickel titanium, that has greater resistance to cyclic fatigue separation but being very flexible at the same time. The file system has triangle at cross section, safer tip, and effective cutting plates. The files are available at 0.4 and 0.6 tapers and ISO sizes 15 through 50. The files to be used at the speed between 250-360 rpms and at torques between 2 to 3 newton centimeters. Now coming to the clinical case, our male patient, age 35, complained on severe sensitivity lasting for several days on the upper right jaw. On clinical examination, a crack starting from occlusal surface and continuing to mesial contact surface of the tooth was noted and died to increase the visibility. Fortunately, the crack was above the CEG and papilla level. The tooth has a big occlusal restoration. No periodontal pocket was revealed while probing, and CBCT showed anatomical features of roots. After the local anesthesia, I continued with isolation and access formation. The orifices of three root canals were located by means of endodontic probe. The length of main canals was established and the glide pass was created by using 10K files along with vBlue file 15.04. You can see the pop tissue removed while creation of a glide pass by a rotary file. Due to high flexibility and cutting efficiency of vBlue files, we can continue with 30.04 to resistance or straight to the working length. I managed to shape main canals to the entire length on one go. Note that the breeze in flutes, which are even more visible because of contrast blue color of the file. The next step was to locate and shape MB2 canal. For this purpose, I put a mark on the palatal wall of the tooth since the MB2 orifice appeared to be next to the orifice of a palatal canal. The canal was narrow and curved. C-pilot files were used to reach a working length and to establish a glide pass. Each file was followed by copious irrigation with sodium hypochlorite. Periapical X-ray with files placed in MB1 and MB2 showed the merging canals, so the aim was to shape MB2 to the junction point. There is one crucial property of vBlue file, which is reduced shape memory. This property of the file was extremely helpful since it allowed me to pre-curve rotary files 15.04, 20.04 and 25.04 before placing in the orifice of MB2 canal.
pressure during irrigation clearly demonstrates the confluent anatomy. Sonic and ultrasonic activation were applied during final irrigation based on principle of continuous chelation by using mixed solution of sodium hypochlorite and EDTA. The canals were dried and obturated, injecting warm gut aperture inside all four canals. The crown access area was cleaned to make ready for further restoration.